the conclusion of the school district scam. Investigators believed that the money from Crowley ISD was in the hands of a man in Florida. Here's Nicole Nielsen again to share what happened from there. Investigators describe Donald Conkright as a loner. The 64 year old man living on Social Security in an old RV in Big Pine Key, Florida. Kind of a lonely guy. Um, somebody that spent a lot of time on the internet and Facebook in particular, engaging with, with people that he had never met before. In an interview with Agent Wilkins and Fort Worth PD Detective Casey Allen, Donald Conkright told them that he did all of this for love for his girlfriend named Lola Mullins. She wanted to marry me, but she couldn't get a father's inheritance unless she was married. Conkright said he had never seen or met this person, even though they'd been dating for about a year. Investigators say the two exchanged more than 25,000 text messages. He says he was dealing with who he believed was Lola's attorney, a man who went by the name of David Sanders, an identity investigators believed was stolen from a real attorney. Sanders was giving him instructions on what to do with the money in his account. Did he tell me when it was there and then give me instructions to do take it. Take it. Yeah, and then put it in different banks. Court records show, along with wire transfers, Conkright also sent laptops, phones, and even this Rolex watch overseas with the money from Crowley ISD. And acting quickly was a key part. After he went to the jewelry store to get the watches, he immediately went to a FedEx store down the street and uh, shipped those to Dubai. Getting rid of the evidence is another step. Investigators believe the crooks were quickly trying to get the money out of the country where it's hard to trace. They said Concrete didn't pass all the money along to Sanders. He kept something for himself. Court records show he bought himself this $130,000 BMW with the money. In text messages to Lola, Concrete says that he must look wealthy to do all this banking. At one point, he acknowledges that what he's doing is against the law, but investigators say he kept on going. It's another thing that set him apart with us was that he didn't feel like he was going to get his fair share of the money. And so one way to solve that, that he admitted to us, was that he took a large chunk of the funds, about 130000 and he bought himself a BMW because, in his own words, he didn't think he was going to get his fair cut. Concrete says he bought the car because he was asked to do so. He said, go get a car. I said, oh, I don't want a BMW. Okay, go get one. She picked it out. How did she pick it out on the line? Yeah. What would it? Yeah. Investigators say he also destroyed his phones and erased messages, also changing his story several times about how he got so much money in his account. In 2020, Concrete was tried and convicted in federal court in Florida for money laundering and sentenced to nearly five years in prison. At trial, his defense attorney said Concrete was merely victim of a romance scam. He was used by the con artist and blinded by love. Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. We reached out to Conkright in federal prison, but he declined to be interviewed for the story. We also made multiple attempts to reach the public defender who represented him in the criminal case, but we've not yet heard back. Conkright has appealed his conviction. But there is some good news to share. Investigators were able to retrieve some of the money stolen from Crowley ISD. In fact, the school district tells us it received more than $600,000 from confiscated items this afternoon. So far, it's been able to recover $813,000. Investigators credit the district for bringing the case to them so quickly as one reason they were able to recover some of the money. Crowley ISD told us in part, after conducting an internal review, Crowley ISD has put numerous safeguards in place to prevent future fraud, including stronger safety procedures in our finance and technology departments. The full statement is on our website.